السلام علیکم فرینڈس دس از اجاز احمد اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی ڈاپ ٹی وی ہاؤ آر یو فرینڈس آئی ہوپ یو گائز آر فائن اف یو آر نیو ٹو مائی چینل پلیز سبسکرائب اٹ اینڈ ہٹ دا بیل آئیکون ٹو گیٹ مائی لیٹسٹ ویڈیو نوٹیفیکیشن ان دس کلاس وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ ہیئر اینڈ وی ہیو دی سب ٹاپکس ہیئر اسٹرکچر ہیئر فنکشنس سو فردر وی ہیو نیلس اینڈ میموری گلینڈس سو لیٹس موو ٹو دی ہیئر Hairs are made up of dead epidermal cells that have been converted to keratin. Hair growth occurs when cells in the hair matrix at the base of the bulb divide and push upward. By the time the cells reach the skin surface to form the shaft, they have been completely converted to keratin. Now come to the hair structure. Each hair consists of a root, a follicle and a shaft. In the follicle, new hair cells develop and push existing cells upward. As the cells are pushed upward, they begin to form the shaft which is made of dead keratinized cells. Smooth muscles called the erector pili is attached to the hair and can contract to pull the hair upward producing goose bumps. Hair Root Follicle Shaft erector pili muscle so come to the hair functions hair cushions and ins and insulates the body protect the nose ears and eyes from small particles and aids in perception of touch hair now comes to the nails nails are the hard plates of dead epidermal cells that have been converted into keratin each nail is embedded in the skin at the nail root beneath the root is the nail matrix which consists of epidermal cells that divide to produce new nail cells allowing the nail to grow now comes to the mammary glands the mammary glands are apocrine exocrine glands that produce and secrete milk when when stimulated by certain hormones during lactations mammary glands so we have mammary gland histology this picture is of non lactating mammary gland mammary glands are classified as apocrine exocrine glands each mammary gland consists of a numerous lobes separated from each other by dense connective tissue and adipose tissue each lobe contains lobules composed of compound alveolar glands and connective tissue inactive inactive mammary glands are composed mostly of ducts a lactating mammary gland during pregnancy the cells of the mammary glands becomes a larger and alveoli develops in the preparation for milk for milk production the alveoli are clusters of milk secreting cuboidal cells that are surrounded by myoepithelial cells during lactation the myoepithelial cells contract and the alveoli secrete milk into the lactiferous ducts that carries it through openings in the nip- beneath the areola of the breast each lactiferous duct forms a lactiferous sinus which serves as a reservoir for milk during nursing